Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more the long dark winter mute story mode. So, Jeremiah's asked us to go repair some of his clothing, and we have to go up to the old watchtower for this one. So, I've spent the morning cooking up food and getting stuff sorted out from the end of last episode, basically. Uh, so, we've got to find the lookout tower where Jeremiah left some skins drying and repair Jeremiah's coat. Now, he did give us a, a, a sewing kit to do this with, so that's not too bad. Um, now, where the hell do we actually need to go, though? So, there's two lookout towers. The destroyed lookout tower and a current one. So, we've got to head to that one. Uh, I've guessed the f quickest way... Do you want to go along th up here and then along here, or go up here and then along here? Because we actually might have enough time to tr check out some of these supply caches as well. Wouldn't mind checking out those supply caches. And we know this area fairly well, so if we get to here I can just head straight up this riverbed. Or we could just go down towards the Roman, I guess. I don't know. Let's go the way we know. Let's go the way we went before. Um, I cooked up most of the meat. I'm doing a bit of a science experiment. So I've got some meat I'm leaving outside on the ground to see what condition it's going to be in when we get back. Because uh, I think the uncooked meat actually does decay outside. But I, I'm sure someone said the meat didn't decay outside because it was frozen. So I don't know if maybe you've got to cook it and then you can leave it outside. I put everything else in the container just on the safe side. Um, we're fully watered. We've eaten... Well, not as watered as we could be, actually. Have a quick drink before we head off. There we go. Um, but yeah, I ate a nice couple of venison steaks for breakfast before we head, out, head off today. I don't often have steak for breakfast. I should have steak for breakfast more often, I think. Uh, but let's head off. So, this area we know fairly well. We've been going in this direction a lot the last couple of episodes. So I feel comfortable heading this direction rather than going all the way up to the railway embankment. Then past Mystery Lake, where we've kind of been to before and we know there's a bunch of wolves around. This area we did already clear some wolves out, so maybe it's going to be a bit easier. I don't know. Last night we did have an aurora, so I don't know if that's going to have changed anything in terms of where the beasties are. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Now we should have enough time to do this. It's just gone midday. I did. It did take a lot of time to cook up all the meat we had. Uh, we had about 14 kilos of meat to cook up in the end. So it's a bit later in the day than I wanted. Just keeping an eye out, because obviously we did kill a wolf around here and then, um, you know get all the bits and gubbins from the carcass. Don't know how quickly that's going to get replaced with another wolf. I don't know if it ever gets replaced with another wolf. I don't know if wolves just wander in randomly. I don't know if there's like a timer. But I think in this kind of game it always pays to be on your guard. So you want to keep... We've got to maintain our visual scanning. And we've got to listen out. That's a log. I have a feeling there's another wolf carcass out here. I haven't actually had a chance to check one of the previous recordings to see how many wolves I killed since we started heading in this direction. I felt like it was two. But I could be wrong. Maybe it was just one. I hear birds. Ah, flying overhead. Okay. I mean, last episode we did have the magically transporting itself deer carcass that was not where we left it, but we managed to find it on the way back, which was good. Um, and carcasses will occasionally appear sort of randomly. You know, from wolves actually taking down deers, you know, they'll chase them a fair distance from where they spawned and so on. So it's always worth listening out for the birds, because they will... T that is important information, that is the information we want. If you can hear a bird... What is the bird doing? Is it circling a carcass? If so, is it a new carcass? Is it a wolf? Is it a deer? Is it a person? This is all good information to have. Right, so this is back at the unnamed pond. Which looks quite... We did see some wolves on that hillside earlier. Ah, there's the deer carcass. We took all the meat from that. There is still the hide and gubbins over there. I'm not too worried about that though. We've got to, we've got a deer hide drying already. I can't see any wolves over there. Now we want to head up that way. That's the destroyed tower, there with the radio tower. The one we're trying to get to is actually over that way. You can't see it through the trees. But I suppose I should stop wasting time. Actually, just start heading that direction. We want to follow that riverbed, and hopefully there's not too many wolves around. 
Um, ah, there we go. There's a wolf over there. Maybe if we go up this way, then we can loop back around and hit the supply caches on the way back. I mean, I'm not too worried about wolves this time. Simply because this shouldn't be a thing where we're carrying lots of meat. The hunting mission was interesting, because we had to carry a bunch of meat, and that makes life a lot more difficult. Um, I actually want to grab a bunch of this stuff, because Jeremiah wants this for trust, and um, I want to get a lot of trust with him, because he's got a very interesting side mission at the very top level. 375 trust. He wants us to destroy some old letters. And honestly, I'm just curious about that. I just want to be nosy. Like, what the hell does that mean? What old letters? Why, in the midst of an electrical apocalypse, do you care so much about your old letters? So if we see any of that, I want to grab it. Uh, oh. Okay, the weather is closing in on us. That's not great. Also, I am kind of wasting a lot of time. Maybe I don't need to stop for the you know, old man's beard right now. Maybe I need to push on to the damn objective. So heading up this way, we should be able to see... Well, if it wasn't so misty, we should be able to see that tower soon. I probably should not want to be walking that. Does that make me wet if I stand on that? That's ice. But is there, like, standing water on it? Is that going to make my feet wet? No, apparently not. Okay. I don't want to get hypothermia in my toes. So there's a frozen waterfall which feeds this stream, which leads to the unnamed pond. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's far away. Not not as far away as I'd like. You know, it could be further away, but it's still not close. That's fine. Okay, so that mark... We've actually just got a marker on our map, so we are here. Uh, I need to go... Let's go around to the left. Actually, not as close as I thought we might be. Need to keep an eye open for wolves. And as that howling reminds us, they are always around. And far too interested in me for my liking. Don't know what it is about the Aurora that's made these wolves so on edge. But they are just, they are out for us constantly. And the game itself does say this is not how wolves act. Wolves do not attack people in the wild. There are very few recorded cases of wolves wolves attacking healthy people who are just walking around. Right, does this lead us up, do you reckon? I can see, actually, there's a railing up there. Yeah, I suppose we want to cut right here, don't we? Where's that go? If we, oh, if we came up here... Actually, that leads directly to one of the supply caches. Um... You know what? I want to see if I can find that supply cache. You never know what's actually in them. Sometimes it's, like, not very useful stuff. But we're not going to know unless we check it out. And this is probably as close as we're going to get. We've also never been down this way, so we might as well have a look quick. So, it says it's past the lookout... Like, on a rock? Are those rocks over there, maybe? Oh, it's actually a bit further than I thought. I mean, I'm not seeing any wolves or anything around, though. Mm. It's not as close as I thought it was. Let's stick on the mission. We can always hit those up later. I mean, we've actually we're losing daylight a lot faster than I thought we would. Plus, this mist—if this mist gets much worse, we're gonna have a really rough time. It, it'll be a bad time in terms of not getting eaten by wolves, but also a bad time, and I'll probably get lost, which wouldn't be great. And we need to get all the way up there. So let's actually, yeah, let's just get up there, fix the thingy. There is some supplies up there. Um, in fact, I would really love it if there's some more ammunition up there, because this is an old. Ranger Station. I don't know if it's like a forest ranger or like a uh, one of those people who does the fire watching, but they might have left some supplies up there. I 
Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, gotta go further around. Oh. How do I get up there? I thought I heard something then. Wait. This isn't this isn't going up. Where's the up? Oh damn, this is actually quite a steep slope. This is where we sprain our wrist or ankle again, isn't it? I don't know if like I feel like maybe stutter stepping would make this easier. Maybe we're going at an angle? I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to go slow. God slow things down. Damn it. Okay, we've got painkillers on us, let's just get that fixed, because if we do run into a wolf that'll be a problem. I guess the actual entrance to this is near a derailment? Is there actually no way up from this side? That kind of sucks. I mean, they did say you wanted to come up from, we wanted to come, he wanted us to come from the derailment, uh, from the train tracks. So maybe I should have actually listened to Jeremiah. There's a deer down there. There's a couple of deer down there, okay. And just flying around. Here we go. Okay, right. Not the way I was meant to go, probably, but hey, it worked. We're here. Now I've just got to get all the way up the top. This is actually this is actually a lot taller than the other one, I think. And we're about mid-afternoon. Kind of, we're starting to get towards evening now. I don't want to be out here too late. Especially if we had an aurora last night. If there's another aurora this evening and we're out in the middle of nowhere, that could actually go quite bad for us, because I don't have the torch on us. I don't know how much the torch would help, but I think the torch helps. And, um, yeah. Wolves are... The wolves are already on edge because of the aurora in general. When there's an actual aurora lighting up the sky, we've seen them go to, like, green-eyed monsters. Don't we want to be facing that off on my own? In the dark. Probably with a sprained wrist or ankle, knowing my luck. Hey, there we go. Cool. I'm assuming there's nothing big and nasty and furry up here. Oh wow, I haven't actually been up here in a long time. They've actually changed this a lot. This is very different from the last time I visited. Which is nice. I like change. This is why I love early access games, when you see them through the development process. Because everything is get you know, there's always a chance this stuff's going to be really different. Where's that going? Nowhere. Okay. Fine. But yeah, games like The Long Dark, or Subnautica, or Prison Architect, or RimWorld. I've played hundreds of hours of those games, and they've always changed during the process. So, you know, even coming back to them, like, years later, just seeing all the changes, it feels like a brand new game. You get to experience that whole brand new game feeling all over again. When, when early access is done right, it's the best thing. It really is. When it's done wrong, it's terrible, don't get me wrong. I do acknowledge that. It's very hit or miss, but there have been a few standouts the last couple of years. Right, I couldn't see anything downstairs that we wanted. This reminds me of Firewatch all of a sudden. I feel like I'm playing Firewatch again. I love that game. That was a good game as well. Uh, right, nothing major around here. Let's open the door. Let's close the door. Let's close the door. There we go. Right, what have we actually got around here? So, we've got some books. Oh, we've got a note. Illegible notes. A crudely drawn map to a hidden supply cache. Okay, another supply cache. If this message was meant for someone, hopefully they were able to decipher it. Fortunately, there are a handful of recognized landmarks and a bold arrow pointing to a large X. Okay. Um. Wonder where. Oh, there. That's new. That's right next to where we've been. Okay, we can definitely check that out later on. I mean, we are close to these ones, but I don't think we're gonna get them done today. Unless, I mean, we're actually okay on temperature, I, and I do have a bit of food with me. Is there any more? F if there's more food here, I might actually. There we go. We could actually possibly spend the night here. Yeah, we've actually probably got enough food and water to spend the night. Just as long as the temperature doesn't get too bad. Hey, there's tons of food. We could even start a fire. Ooh, hello. I see that bullet down there. I would like that very much. Thank you. Is 
Is that another whetstone? No, I don't know what that is. It's not, it looks it looks like a, that's a whetstone. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Uh, some trail boots. Are they any good? I don't know. We'll find out. All right, search that. Antibiotics and a bandage. No gun, unfortunately. Thermal underwear. I mean, if I can carry it, I'll take it. Hank's lockbox key. Okay. Where's Hank's lockbox key? Is that the question of the day? Probably. Alright, sewing kit. We might as well grab that and take that back. That's an empty can of pork and beans. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. But yeah, if we spend the night here, then I could hit those supply caches and then go back tomorrow. That might work out for the best. So, what do we actually need to do today? We need to finish repairing Jeremiah's coat. Which I'm gonna guess is gonna need this black bear hide. This. Okay. So let's have a look. What do what does this actually require for me to repair it? There we go. Jeremiah's bear skin coat. Seen better days. Repair requires black bear hide. That's fine. Uh, we can repair this to full in an hour and forty-two minutes. Damn. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Have I got enough? Like food and stuff? Have I got enough calories on me? Probably. It's only an hour and 42. Okay. I, let's repair that now, because I don't want to carry both of those items back at the same time. Especially if we're going to spend the night here. So, actions. Repair. Use the... Yeah, use that sewing kit. As long as our body temperature stays fine, we can stay here, I think. Cool. Okay, 100%. Can I actually wear that? No, I, I'm not actually allowed to wear his coat, am I? Fair enough. Uh, those trail boots aren't actually very good compared to our current stuff, I don't think. Yeah, because we, we have the decent mukluks, Um Which are pretty good. And the only thing I need is another accessory. I don't have any more accessories to wear. Which is a shame. Right, so that mission has updated. we just got to get that bear skin back home. Um... It is going to start getting very dark soon. Uh, we still seem to be okay on temperature, though. I mean, there is the bed here as well. I mean, feels like, it will feel like 15 degrees, which is, you know, perfect to spend the night here. I could start a fire. I don't know if there's enough wood here to keep a fire going the whole night. Uh, oh, we actually we found a bullet as well, didn't we? I'll tell you what, let's actually reload the gun so we actually have full, all the bullets in the gun. There we go. Put that into the magazine. Right. I mean, it's still pretty light now, but it is meant to be getting dark quite soon. I wonder where Hank's key is. I mean, maybe it's around somewhere? Am I just not seeing it? Let's have a look downstairs again while there's a little bit of light. We're going to try and spend the night here if we can. Hopefully we're not going to freeze to death. But maybe that key's, like, around the base of the tower or something? Like it dro got dropped off. So I would like to know what's inside that lockbox. I don't often see a, a locked metal box like that under the bed. Oh, hello. Two wolves down there towards the old, the, the destroyed tower. Okay. I mean, that's fine. They're not going to get me up here. So that direction is a bit dangerous because of wolves, which means... So that area, we probably... That's the way we came. I didn't see any wolves last time. Oh well. Um, we want to come down from here and check that out. If we can check that out as well and then head back tomorrow, I think that'd be the best plan. So yeah, I think we're going to try and spend the night here. And then check out the stuff in the morning, rather than having to do two trips. It'll save us a lot of travelling if we can spend the night here. And I think with that bed, we should be okay. I just don't know where that key might be. Just wonder if it's lying around on the ground somewhere, or if it's something we've got to go find. Might even be the supply cache that was marked on our map. The one that's uh, near the train tunnel. That would explain a few things. Now, which direction is that? Is that... that's towards... oh, that's the dam over there. Okay, so that leads us back towards the dam. Which means there is a supply cache over that way as well. 
but that might be a bit far to try and hit all three or four in one day. Not sure if that would be the best of plans. That feels like an overreach. Because there's derailment. Just wonder if there's any, if we can see any wolves from up here. Obviously not going to try and shoot them from here, but it might tell us a bit if we could see them from here. That's the camp office, and then the hunter's cabin is back over. Can we actually see the hunter's cabin from here? I wonder. Okay, this is me just mucking around now. We're actually not making any progress in the game or story. But I'm just wondering, if what what can I see from a bit? Can I see my house from here? Let's have, let's find out, shall we? Can I see Jeremiah's house from here? Because there's the train tracks. So the... The tunnel is about there. So Jeremiah's is... Down there, or it must be on the other side of the slope, actually. Okay, so we don't think we can see Jeremiah's. Not from here. So we can't see our house from here. <sighs> Sad day. Okay, well, I think we're going to try and spend the night here, so hopefully it stays warm enough. Um, we will, however, take a break here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully... I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.